In a move to make complete approval of President Museveni's recent appointed cabinet and government, the 10th parliament host unanimously approved Dr. Ragnar Gunda as prime minister and leader of government business. <laughs> Rugunda was approved in absentia. There was no opportunity for the House to listen to his maiden speech. However, speaker after speaker made statements about his performance and what they expect of him. What the president did at 42, he can't do at 72. It's human. And therefore, I have to wait for the order to go out and go because he doesn't have the right share. You see, the government structure, the Prime Minister is the supervisor of government programs. We need to respect the owner of the worker and the the deputies, we need to respect, they are all of other activities. After his unanimous approval by the entire parliament, this exercise was later followed by the vetting of full cabinet ministers by the appointments committee of parliament, chaired by the speaker of parliament. First to appear before the appointments committee was Al Haj Kiwunde Kipejinja, was appointed by President Museveni as first deputy premier and minister of East African Affairs in his fifth term government. Having been in a similar portfolio before, we asked him what makes this appointment different from the previous one. What comes different now is that uh, a new crop of leaders have emerged. And definitely, if you are a Muganda or a Musoga, you should know that uh, at, the, when, at the funeral, when uh, you have to call for the old people to come and settle the younger children so that they don't hit each other. Eh? I think I am in that position to say that, well, that we, this, is the, this is what we have prepared this country for you, and uh, please hold it along this way to be able to benefit you and benefit your children. Sounding confused, we asked him whether he was in the know of what is at stake with the stored East African Political Federation dream. It's because of our understanding. I've told you that I took up to fight for Africa, and our slogan then, when I was 20, was we, we dreamed of a free and united Africa in our lifetime. But what we ended up was independent states started into OAU, and we are still groping. They've asked me some questions. Are you meaning the understanding of Tanzania? No, including you. Eh? Including you. Because we must be able to a certain level of, of appreciation of our plight and our interests and de-emphasize our, our, our identity. Because everybody is born by his father and mother. But you cannot go on singing your mother, how good. No, you need to get a wife. You need to move, to move out and be able to create something bigger. With the appointment of the First Lady Janet Museveni as Minister for Education and Sports, she was the next in the queue. In and around the Princeton of Parliament, security had been beefed up, overriding and taking over the security of Parliament. At exactly 3.20 p.m., the First Lady Janet Kataham Museveni moved in to interface with the Appointments Committee of Parliament. However, by press time, it was still unclear on whether the committee was contented with academic credentials for the appointment. Other ministers that were lined up for vetting today included Dr. Ruth Ocheng, appointed as Minister of Health, 
Sam Kutesa Kahamba appointed Minister for Foreign Affairs and Amelia Kiambade among other ministerial appointees. Timothy Sabasi, Vista Ovision, Parliament.